Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm going to be doing a little Halo Infinite weapon tier list. I haven't seen anyone really do this yet. We're going to get right into it. We're going to start with the Assault Rifle. Now, Assault Rifle, I think I'm going to put that at C. The Assault Rifle is a very capable weapon. It used to be absolute garbage in Halo 3 every time I'd find any other gun, legitimately anything. Like, if I found a friggin' baseball bat in the game, I'd pick that up instead of an Assault Rifle because that gun just shot so poorly. It was horrible. But in this game, it's very capable. It might be as good as the Halo 5 AR. Now we got the Bulldog. Controversial opinion. People hate this thing. It's easily a B. It is a very useful weapon. Anytime I find it, I pick it up. It is really up to how good you are at the game. If you're bad, you're gonna hate this gun. Because it's not a one-shot shotgun like the classic guns have been. The classic shotgun that we know and love. It is a two-shot at close range. Or in some cases, shoot them once and then melee them a second later. I've killed people like that all the time. I've pulled off overkills with this thing. It is great. I do not know why people trash it. Although the magazine size could use a bit of a buff. I find myself reloading every now and then. It's not exactly an A, but I'm going to give it a B because I friggin' love the thing. Battle Rifle's an A. It is undisputably one of the best guns in the game. It has no bloom at all. Like, if you fire at a wall, the it just has a vertical pattern of, like, rounds that land an inch away from each other. Stupidly generous magazine size, too. It's never been anything but 36 in Halo, I'm pretty sure. But it's fairly broken. <laughs> I friggin' love this gun. Anyway, now we get the pulse carbine. So, speaking of the battle rifle, this is a... It's it's estranged stepbrother. It is a four-round burst plasma weapon that is surprisingly pretty bad at long range. It is mostly at close ranges that you're going to be using this thing, but it performs like a burst weapon, so it's kind of like the wonkiest combo you're ever going to have. It shreds shields, yes. I've seen people drop others, and I've dropped others at like with two or three bursts. But the stars have to align for an entire burst of four projectiles to hit an enemy Spartan at any range. It's terrible at very close quarters, too. Most of the time, I just get killed with this damn thing. But, I mean, I still get kills, so I'm just going to put it in D. It's just not, not that good, but I'd, I'd rather have an AR, honestly. Now we got the Cinder Shot. So this is a hard light power weapon. Fires explosive, bouncy projectiles. When you scope in, the damn thing shoots straighter than ever before. So it's got two modes of fire, which is really sick. But with all the bouncing projectiles, although it is a very powerful weapon, kind of like a grenade launcher, I find myself missing because I'll aim for where they're going to be and it bounces past where they're at, you know? So I'm going to give it a B. It is not a bad weapon by any means. It is fairly good. I just do not get it very often, so I just can't find it half the game. Now we got the Commando. Now this is a tough one. This is a very interesting weapon indeed. When I saw the trailers for it, I was really excited to use it. And to be honest, it is one of my favorite guns to use in the game. But I'm going to give it a C. It's really friggin' good. You can pull off amazing headshots with it. It is basically if the AR and the BR had a child that, honestly, like, I mostly spend half the time using it like a DMR. You can single tap it, you can scope in, and it's a one-shot headshot, so might as well use it like a DMR. High damage, but the recoil on it, okay. honestly, really drags it down, so it's it not quite good. an amazing yeah. gun. But I enjoy using it, and I pull quite a bit off with it, so, you know, I can't knock it too bad. Now, this is the Disruptor. That is an easy F. It is unquestionably the worst gun in the entire game. It has some uses, yes, you can stun vehicles with it. I've seen people fire at stronghold points and it will damage enemy Spartans around it. Yes, that's fairly cool. It does the whole chain reaction thing with elect that electric weapons in this game do. However, it does such little amounts of damage and it's just pretty awful overall. Like I have gotten one kill with it and I've seen an enemy kill me with it one time. So, pretty bad. And honestly, it needs a buff. Now we got the Gravity Hammer. That's an easy C. It's probably the worst Gravity Hammer we've ever gotten. It doesn't have a lunge. It has wow. the slowest wind-up in the okay. history of wind-ups. But it is still a very good weapon. I do enjoy using it. 
Now this tier list isn't how much I enjoy using a weapon, it's how good it is. And I really love using the gravity hammer, but it's gotta be in C, you know, so. Now this one's a tough one, because I love the heat wave. It's got a vertical firing mode, it's got a horizontal firing mode. Projectiles bounce, they go through targets, so you can fire through three enemies with it. It's just not that great. I think it's a bit more trouble than it's worth. I love using it. You pull it each kill is satisfying, because you disintegrate the enemy and it's a lot of fun to use. I've destroyed a Warthog with it before. It can destroy vehicles too, but it's just not that great. The projectiles just move too slowly. And the reload is just ridiculously long. I can't stand it. So, yeah, I'm going to say it's a D. But, you know, maybe with a buff it could be better. I get the Hydra. That's a D. I never thought it would make a return after Halo 5. I didn't know this gun was that popular in 343. But, hey, what do you know? It is a good gun. If you're delusional, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it can help ground wasps or banshees because of its lock-on feature. That's the one advantage it has over the spanker, is that it has a lock-on while the spanker doesn't. Strangely, it doesn't have a scope because when you right-click, you switch to, or I guess whenever you zoom on console, it switches to a direct fire mode, which is nice because then you don't have to worry about locking on to fire the thing, but it's still fairly average. To each their own, some people love it. All right, now we got the Mangler. Now, in its current state, it's definitely a B. It's a four-shot kill, can't complain. It is very satisfying to use, but the only thing that's keeping it from being an A is that it does have slow-firing projectiles. Although there is this one combo some people have been using where they shoot you once with it and then melee you immediately, and it's an insta-kill, which is honestly really broken, but it's not game breaking. Like, it's powerful, but all you gotta do is stand six feet away from these mangler users and you don't get killed by it. So, I really love this gun though. It's very satisfying. I got the Needler. Needler is a C. It's kind of average on Needler's standard. It's not bad like the Halo 2 and Halo 1 Needler, but it certainly is useful. In fact, I would trade my AR for it in most occasions. So, can't knock it. Now we got the plasma pistol. Now, they massacred my boy. It used to EMP vehicles. Now that's been relegated to the shock weapons. So, all it's good for is popping shields. Whether you overcharge them or you tap them with it repeatedly. It's not weak. It's probably the most powerful plasma pistol ever, potentially. But it's still, just because it's better than its brothers doesn't make it a good gun. So, oh, but you know what? Nothing can get worse than the Ravager, aside from the Disruptor. The Ravager is hot garbage. It's downright dog water. Like, oh my gosh. It really needs a buff bad. Now, yes, it does have the overcharge feature, and that does a lot of damage to vehicles, and it leaves an AoE damage pool of, like, fire, which is pretty cool, I guess, if you like fire and you know, pyrotechnics or whatever. But this thing... It's damage. It's like slapping a Spartan with a wet noodle. It's downright garbage. Like, it overheats after five bursts or so, and maybe even less. The projectiles drop off, and way too early. They're slow. They don't do enough damage. They do splash damage, but it's honestly, like, this weapon is the equivalent of tickling a Spartan. So, don't even pick it up. I move on to the Sentinel Beam. Fairly average. Powerful but you have to hold that beam steady on the enemy. So tracking, if you are bad at tracking in this gun, or tracking in this game, you will have an absolutely horrible time with this weapon. When I first played, I hated this gun. Now we move on to the shock rifle. Now this is an interesting one. It EMPs vehicles, yes, but it also has a one-shot headshot. It's like a three-shot body shot, though. But this is the ultimate sniper's, like, counter. Like, this is how you counter snipers. Putting it in B, because it's not quite a sniper rifle. It's only got like a two times scope on it. But if there's ever an enemy sniper out there, and I got this nearby me, I'm gonna deal with him. In fact, I have dealt with a few of them before, so not a bad gun. I really like it. Now I get the skewer. That is an easy S. It's just ridiculously powerful. There's a reason it has a slow reload speed, and the projectiles uh, move effectively slow, and you have to lead your targets. It's because if it was any better, it would break the game entirely. <laughs> but
but uh, it has a limited ammo reserve, but it is still a fantastic gun. I have pulled off some ridiculous shots with it, and it melts vehicles, so... Kind of strange that the best Halo weapon in this new Halo game is a spike launcher. It just shoots a... It's the lawn dart gun, <laughs> for all intents and purposes. But it's a good-ass gun. Now I move on to the sidekick. I'm putting that in C. I love the sidekick. If this was a list on my, like, favorite guns, like, this thing handles like a wet dream, dude. It's beautiful. I would put it at, like, S if this was my favorite guns tier list. But it is just not that great. Like, it's good. You can pull off some dank-ass headshots. And it is an effective sidekick to your AR. I think the AR excels at medium range and breaking shields. And the sidekick is a good job finisher. It takes him out with a headshot, does quite a bit of damage, so... Can't complain. Good gun. Now I get the sniper rifle. That's an easy A. The only thing that's keeping it from being an S is I do have some trouble using it. And oh no, you're bad, Nikos. No, it's just got too much zoom in the first level of zoom. Like when you're on a ranked match or in an arena match, and the moment you look down that scope, you're going to get tunnel vision like <laughs> really bad. And it's going to be hard to hit enemies, but it is still a sniper rifle, still very powerful. And I think the only reason it's not an S is because it only comes with an extra magazine. So, you know, you're only going to get two magazines. So, you know. Kind of annoying when you run out of ammo pretty quickly. But it's still a great gun. Now we got the Spanker. That's an easy S. The only complaint about the Spanker is it doesn't have a lock on. But that would honestly make it so ridiculously OP. And the only other complaint is every time you pick it up, you got to spin up the barrels. And I've been killed a couple times. I've run over and like slid, grabbed, grabbed the rocket launcher, and I've gone to kill some dudes that were attacking me, and I end up just spinning the barrels up and playing with <laughs> my Spartans, just playing with the rocket launcher and gets himself killed, so it's kind of shitty. But, you know, can't complain that bad. It's a great weapon. Now I got the Stalker Rifle. Now this one is a hard one for me. I can't decide whether this is a C or a B. The Stalker Rifle is an effective cross between the sniper rifle and a DMR, if there was a DMR in this game. RIP DMR. But I think it's a C. It's it's a hard one for me to call because it's got the double scope of a sniper rifle and it is like a two shot headshot and like a three four shot body shot. But you're it's kind of hard to lead land follow up shots on enemy players. Like you're gonna have a lot of trouble killing them from full shields at far away so it's a capable weapon but it's not quite the shock rifle or sniper rifle but it i still enjoy it and i think it's a good gun now we got the energy sword this is the undisputed king of close quarters now that the shotgun has let itself go a little <laughs> so to speak it is absolutely fantastic in this game every time i get it i like to go on a little ninja spree and it has a great lunge like it's always had and now that the shotgun no longer exists, there's no longer a fear of bold trues. So you're just ridiculously overpowered at close quarters. So yeah, that is the list right there. Now, keep in mind, I do like all the guns in this game, except for the F tier. They're absolute garbage. The D tier sure is dog water. I guess that's D for dog water. So, and then... Anyway, yeah, the F tier is pretty terrible, but dog water tier is... I still like these weapons, in fact I still get kills with them, but they do need a bit of a buff. But generally you can see all of them are good to amazing, like this sandbox is really well balanced. And I think I appreciate that because you can make any weapon viable. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this, thanks for checking it out. If you have any debate you want to start in the comments, feel free to send some comments down below. If you disagree, go ahead and let me know. If you agree, let me know as well. I'd love to hear y'all's opinions on the weapons in this game. And I had a lot of fun making this tier list and talking to y'all today. And I hope y'all stay tuned so you can check out my new Halo Infinite videos coming out. Alright, see ya.